Look, it's me on the TV. I didn't even see you there. I was just casually carrying my bike like this. No, just kidding. Today, um, my bike's a little dirty and uh, I'm just gonna go over a couple housekeeping things to, to maintain its performance and its longevity. So let's get right into it. Okay, believe it or not, can anyone guess how old this bike is? Brand new? No. Five years old? No. Dude, this bike is 10 years old. And why is that? It looks so nice and it performs great. It's because I've done these five things to keep it in great shape and keep it in great working order. So let's get started. Alrighty, before I get into anything, um, I just wanna make it clear that all bikes are different and just do your research. Mine's a carbon bike, they make aluminum bikes or steel ones. And uh, some things you do to maintain it uh, differ. So just make sure you know which is which, but this one's gonna be specifically about carbon bikes, but I'm sure it applies to other ones. So let's get started. Uh, hey guys. I've got my bike set up right here. And the, the first thing I generally do is if I'm on a ride or uh, I've just been using it a lot, um, I will usually hear anything that is of any concern though. Um, so my first tip is listen to your bike. So we're gonna just get going a little bit. It actually sounds pretty good. Moving nicely, well lubricated. All right, there's not much I need to do there but we can still work on the chain and the cassette area, which is what we're gonna uh, do next. And I, I can elaborate a little bit more. So if you're hearing anything odd, um, just kind of use the bike, uh, prop it up kind of how I have it here, and just uh, crank it like that. And you'll generally be able to hear what's going on or where it's going on. And that'll help you troubleshoot. And then uh, it'll help you solve your problem. So let's uh, go to the next one. Alrighty, how's it going? I've got my trusty, look at the focus. I got my trusty number five Allen wrench. And if you're hearing anything, uh, it could be because something's loose. So generally on this crank, on the crank set, you just make sure everything's tight. Uh, follow it up like that. And essentially you just go through the rest and that's for the big sprocket. And we can do it for the other side right there. Oh, there it is. Um, you can also do it for your, your pedals here. Uh, and there are also some varying Allen holes uh, near your cassette. Uh, though I did mine before we, uh, I'm filming, everything is in order, but that can definitely be a nice troubleshooting tip and uh, certainly can help you if your problem is not too bad. Yo, 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 all right, number three, we're gonna, we're gonna work on that chain. And uh, there's a couple things you need. Um, I know that this is a common thing that people have WD-40 um, to use it on your chain, but I do not suggest that because it is more for removing uh, like rust and just keeping things lubricated. It's not really a bike lubricant, um, but basically we can just use some soapy water. We're going to dab it in there, get a little wet and pardon me, I'm doing this one handed and generally uh, you can just hold on the chain and then crank it, get that guy going. Um, it's hard to do with one hand, but I, I will do it and I'll show you the finished product. Woo! Check out all that grease. Certainly, now that I have it on the rag, I won't have it on all my nice biking clothes. Um, so I'll take a look at that chain. It's nice and pristine. Woo! Or it's pretty good. Um, yeah, certainly just running it through will keep it nice and quiet. It'll keep friction down, um, especially if you've been riding a lot like I have. It will certainly make uh, the bike last longer. It'll make the parts last longer and it can keep your clothes clean. So let's move to the next one. Already, oh yeah, check out these socks and check that out. Anyhow, nonetheless, the next step is, it's uh, optional, but it's cosmetic. And I know a lot of people that are into biking, make sure, uh, wanna make sure their bike looks nice. So they see, especially on a carbon bike like this thing stick, there's some smudges and, and some dirt. And you can take the same soapy water and just clean your bike and make it look nice and pretty. So when you're in the next ride, people are turning heads. Let's go do that. Yeah, arguably most importantly is uh, the tire maintenance. So you can see here, uh, some bikes have different valves. This one is called a Presta valve, which uh, a lot of high-end road bikes have. And uh, this is also a Presta valve, but you can see I've got a Schrader adapter. So just in case, um, the bike pump you have is not a Presta valve uh, bike pump. You can buy an adapter like this and it'll uh, work nicely. But fortunately mine 
covers both. But uh, my point is just often with temperature fluctuation or with a lot of use, make sure your bike uh, tires are up to date and they're nice in pressure. Uh, I know you can read the side of the, the outside of the tire to read what pressure, what PSI works best. I know um, it can be a very temperamental thing to work out, especially with uh, some lower end bikes. Um, you don't want to make it too high because it'll explode. I've done that before. Uh, you don't want to do it too low because you can get a pinch flat and that's also no fun. Um, but besides that, those are my five tips on keeping your bike healthy uh, and having a, a longevity maintenance and just keeping things in order. So thank you for watching. Hopefully this helped and take care.